Thank you very much, Dick. It's a pleasure to have both you and Bill here. And uh, as Bill mentioned, the work the, with the law enforcement is vitally important. So it's fun having you here this morning. Well, our first keynote speaker is a man who probably doesn't probably need an introduction to uh, all of us here in Seattle. Quite frankly, most of you, if not all of you, out on the East Coast as well. Uh, Howard Schmidt has been in this uh, business for a long time. He's got nearly 40 years uh, of experience uh, working in both the public and private sector on cybersecurity issues. As many of us know from the days when he was the chief security officer at Microsoft. Uh, since those days, of course, he has served in the federal government, took a few years off to the world and, and uh, do a number of things. Uh, sit private sector, including a stint over in London uh, with the Information Security Forum and, and uh, served as chairman of, of that group, and uh, served on many boards and, and other uh, organizations uh, at Korea. And President Obama uh, called uh, for Howard to rejoin the federal government uh, in uh, December of last year and appointed him to his current position as cybersecurity coordinator and special assistant to the president. Uh, Howard has been an enormous supporter, a great supporter of uh, uh, this uh, public-private partnership uh, that uh, has resulted in National Cybersecurity Month. Uh, and really, just uh, putting information and uh, other areas that private sector are partnering uh, federal government as well as state and local government in. He's been a huge champion uh, of uh, advancing the public-private here. So, Howard, I'd like to turn to you and thank you for starting us off uh, this morning with your opening. First, Shannon, thank you for attending this morning. And uh, not if we get the fog to roll out, but we had this on the weekend of Issaquah Sam Day's festival. So, really got to do something in addition. We get to hear and see you here in Seattle. Have to spend some time watching some huge fish in some shallow water. Anyway, I'm really pleased to kick off the 7th National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Uh, it's a public awareness campaign, as we know, to encourage all Americans to protect their computers and the national's critical cyber infrastructure. You know, the Internet is a shared resource, and securing it is a shared responsibility that we have. That shared responsibility is very evident in this room today. I'm tremendously honored to share the stage with Deputy Secretary Jane Booth, the Department of Homeland Security, and if there's anyone in government that is a senior position for one of our departments that understands it, but not only understands it, but drives to get some results in it, Deputy Secretary Jane, thank you very much. Uh, as our federal cybersecurity awareness efforts, DHS is very instrumental. Bruce McConnell, Phil Reitinger, I know you're in the audience somewhere. Uh, thank you so much for all the work you're doing over there. Also, to show you once again uh, some leadership in the federal side, Ernest McDuffie the National, from National Institute of Standards and Technology and Nadine Sapter from the Federal Trade Commission are both here as well, leading very key parts of the government's effort to make cyberspace more secure. Obviously, uh, you couldn't have an event like this without the local representatives that are helping drive the things that we need on the ground here. Uh, Tony Tora Therese, Chief of Security, Agnes Kirk, Bill Schreer, Mike Hamilton, and Assistant Chief Dick Reed, thank you for attending as well. Also, from other states, uh, Tom Duffy from New York State, Multi-State uh, Information Sharing Analysis Center, and all the private sector partners that have enjoyed this important campaign. The private-public partnership is fundamental of our cybersecurity efforts, and during Cybersecurity Awareness Month, it's particularly relevant that we wind up putting together all these people in one particular part. And Shannon Kelp, you see, chair of the National Cybersecurity Alliance, very much appreciate Brett for as well as Kaiser. Locally, Nancy Microsoft has joined us, and I'm looking forward to your comments. But I'd also like to say hello to our friends and our colleagues outside of Washington in the other Washington uh, joining us today, Cybercast. This is the first time we've ever launched Cybersecurity Awareness Month on both coasts at the same time. Phil Bond from Tech America and Charlie Croom from Lockheed Martin. Very much appreciate you making this possible for us. Uh, another just personal, very much uh, heartfelt thank for those in the audience that are from the military, served military, and particularly uh, uh, the man that I've known all my life, in his life, from the 364th Sustainment Command Expeditionary, 
Uh, my son, Sergeant Anthony, Staff Sergeant Anthony Schmidt, Master Sergeant Ello, and Sergeant Tagaran, all Iraq veterans have joined us today, so thank you. You know, I know that I really don't want to remind us up against today that we live in a network world. Cybersecurity is a critical part of our everyday lives, how our society works, and how our economy operates. We communicate through cyber networks. We conduct business. We uh, rely on cyber networks to control and manage transportation, electricity, banking, just to name a few parts of the critical infrastructure. Last week, the President of Science Information announcing October 1st that Cybersecurity Awareness Month was taking place. And he, and he said, and I quote, during National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we recognize the risk of cyber attacks and the important steps we can take to strengthen our digital literacy and cybersecurity. We all have a shared obligation to reaffirm our own commitment to increasing cybersecurity whenever, wherever possible. National Cybersecurity Awareness provides a platform for those of us in government at the federal, state, local, and tribal levels, as well as our partners in private sector, of the importance of cybersecurity. This also gives an opportunity, though, to highlight that it's simple, easy to use, easy to execute solutions that all of us can undertake to safeguard ourselves at home, at work, in our schools. Our efforts in October provide a foundation for our collaborative work throughout the year, as well as every other month of the year. The President of this administration is fit to make Americans more cyber secure, cyber smart, and cyber assured. Earlier this year, we marked the one year anniversary of the President's historic speech and his review of the efforts to defend our nation's information technology and communications infrastructure. Throughout this process, we've been working closely with all the stakeholders across federal government, state, local, and tribal governments, academia, law enforcement, and private sector to reduce risk and build confidence in our shared critical information communications infrastructure. The time has come to make cybersecurity and safe online practices second nature to America's economic prosperity, national security, because we all depend on it. And the President's national strategy for cybersecurity, this hinges on building a digital nation. The goals include ineffective online practices, a cyber-savvy workforce, professional training and certification to empower that workforce, and the education that inspires the cybersecurity innovators of tomorrow. To meet the President's challenge, we launched the National Institute for Cybersecurity Education, or the NICE initiative. The initiative is led by the National Institute of Standards and Technology at the Department of Commerce, and supported by agencies across the federal government, and focused on partnering with academic and private sector including all of you here today, as well as those listening, to pave the way for our nation's digital future. As part of the NICE initiative, and built on all of our collective efforts to date to promote cybersecurity awareness, it's my distinct pleasure to announce the launch of an new national awareness and education campaign to promote cybersecurity. This campaign will enhance our efforts during October and beyond to educate, engage, and empower the American public to take charge of their own safety and security online. It will challenge the American people to be more vigilant about establishing smart habits that will lead to increased, increased protection online. As part of the campaign, DHS will be launching the Friends of the Campaign program to, to engage even a broader community to support campaign efforts, and I encourage everyone to be a part of the Friends of Campaign as well, to encourage your friends, colleagues, and family members to join us. We are committed to help Americans understand the importance of cybersecurity, which is why we have adopted the Stop, Think, Connect message as part of our campaign. Stop, Think, and Connect is a really universal call to action about cybersecurity awareness. This message is a result of public-private partnership to work together over the last 15 months led by the National Cybersecurity Alliance and the Anti-Phishing Working Group. They were both here today with us, as mentioned earlier. But this also includes many other partners from industry and government who provided funding and expertise to develop this unified message. We know the time is right to unify. We need to harmonize our voices to send a clear and action message to every computer user 
about making the internet safer for them and more secure for others. This message is straightforward, non-technical, and applies to everyone using the internet. It applies to any device and only takes a quick moment to implement, as well as, most importantly, it can be taught by anyone to anyone, but it can be owned by all of us. Our hope is that rise in public consciousness and join the ranks of other public safety messaging efforts that have become a part of our everyday lives. With repeated, consistent messages, computer users will begin to understand the importance of safe online practices and have those practices become part of day life. So please stay tuned for more information throughout the month of October. There's a tremendous number of activities taking place around the country and even around the world in celebration of this, so you'll be learning more. As I mentioned earlier, it's our shared responsibility to create a safe, secure, and resilient cyber environment. There is no doubt that cybersecurity is the most pressing, if not the most complex, challenges facing our nation today. That's why our, our awareness campaign in October is so important. It's crucial that we recognize the importance of taking collective action to protect our systems from attacks and disruptions, whether deliberate or accidental. When it comes to cybersecurity, we all have a role to play. As President Obama said on occasion, this is a problem that government can solve by itself. Cybersecurity requires strong public-private partnerships where both sides are truly engaged in protecting our nation's, nation's critical infrastructure. More effective, must work more closely together to better understand the risk and vulnerabilities, to collaborate and on detecting and responding to intrusions, to build the relationships that let us work together and to respond to the nation at internet speed. Can't treat this as a government issue, nor is the protection of our digital network simply a cyber as an IT issue. For Americans affected, it's a human issue and an economic issue. The United States as a whole, it's a national security, public safety, and economic prosperity issue. So if I may, let me leave you with this. Together we can build a nation that is stronger and smarter, and more so to the service that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Everyone has a role to secure their part of space, including the computers, devices, and networks that they use. We all need to understand how our individual actions have a collective impact on cybersecurity protecting the internet. Our shared responsibility means each of us must do our part. The actions we take may differ depending on our personal and professional responsibilities, but action we must take. However, if we each do our part, whether it's implementing stronger security practices of our day-to-day -day online activities, making sure the right tools are in place, raising awareness in the community for secure devices and, and, and IT systems, together we'll be more resilient. And resilient, we can better protect ourselves, our neighbors, and our country. And remember, I like to remind, stop, think, and connect. And with that, please join me in the unveiling of our program.